In this video, we are testing, this is the high-tech, this is the two-port black edition. This is a 100-watt charger that runs off AC or DC, can do a whole wide range of different battery types, has even a Bluetooth app to connect to it. So we're going to get it out of the box, we're going to give it a test and see how good it does. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Troy, this is Roadside RC. You'll tend to find me bashing or crawling or drifting or racing, plus doing product review videos and how-tos. And one of the things very common that folks ask Ask questions about is a proper charger to use so I like to test different ones and I got this high tech that landed on my table just recently here so let's get it out of the box and see what you get inside there Obviously, you get the charger itself, which is a nice size, actually. Not too big, not too small. Like, it's a really, really kind of a appropriate size. You get the wall outlet adapter for it. We also have some different plugs here. We have a couple of Deans. It looks like they give you these, I don't I want to call them proprietary, but I don't think they are. These are leads in here for charging, which is nice. Very nice big plug on there. You're not going to hurt that. Um, I don't see a lot that are this way. Normally they're just separate wires, but there's a standard size bullet. So it looks like basically if you buy any other kind of leads, it'll fit in there nicely. We have the balance boards, which are good for your lipos. We have the ability to adapt over. I'm guessing we have, yep, we have the DC in back here on the back. So you can hook it up to like a car battery or something like that and then we have a manual to help us walk through how to actually use the charger to get it set up so all we have to simply do is plug this ac into the back and then we can plug that into the wall There you go. It talks to you. Um, <laughs> um, that's interesting. So we can go ahead and plug in the balance port and we can plug in the uh, main power lead there as well. You can see the A and B channel. This is brightly marked A. This is brightly marked B. So that is easy. It also has a USB out right here. Plus it looks like a temperature sensor plus or minus some other outlets here on the front in case you need to uh, update the software it looks like that's a software connection there now looking into the charger itself you can switch here between the two channels that you want to use that's fine we have lipo on a balance so if i come back then that is lipo mode you can do battery memories battery internal resistance battery voltage meter lead acid nickel cadmium nickel metal lithium high volt lithium ion there you go you can see the different kinds right there and it keeps talking to you if we come in then we have a balance charge discharge which i basically never use a storage charge which is typically that one and then balance those are the two that i only would ever really use with this i'm going to go ahead and plug the battery in so we have the battery main lead plugged in plus the balance port plugged in and then it's here on balance which would be the charging state that i would want um, this is a 6000 milliamp battery which means i could charge it up to oh, six God. amps so we're going to see just how high will this charge it says it maxes out at 10 amps this chart this battery should be able to handle that so we're going to try it and see if it'll do it and then oh, um it is a 2s battery so that is fine i'm gonna hold this button down press start to confirm it's confirming to it's confirming that it also sees a 2s battery and then it'll start as it's charging first thing to note whisper quiet i can barely hear that the fan's spinning but man that thing is quiet so it's already charging at 6.3 amps is all that it's showing that it's pulling up to right now you can see the total voltage of the battery Let's see if I hit here, then you can see the voltage of the two individual cells themselves, which is awesome. You can see it says fuel, 73%, kind of awkward, no fuel in this. Uh, cell voltage, yeah, we can see this here. End voltage, it says it's going to 8.4 volts. It's getting 14 volts in. Temperatures. So it did say that it would go up to 10 amps. It is not doing it so far, even with just this 2S battery. Makes me wonder how powerful this thing really, really is. I would assume that should have gone all the way up to 10 amps. It's only a 2S battery. I would assume it could have handled more than that. If we come back around, storage is the only other thing that I ever use. 
Again, we're just going to skip past because everything's set up. And we're going to come in. And so now it's again monitoring that battery voltage as it tries to bring it back down to that 3.85. So it looks like the charger works absolutely beautifully and honestly that's the majority of anything that i would ever use it for is just battery like this either charging balance or discharging or storage charging so it's either storage or balance that's honestly everything that i would ever use one thing that's kind of special though with this controller is it has its own app it has this link power it's trying to connect to the charger so you can actually see on channel a versus channel b so you can say it's a lipo or whatever kind of battery it is right here say it's two you want it to balance charge so you click next then over here you can tell it what amperage you want it to charge at so again we're just going to crank it all the way up here just for the test Tell it to start. And what you heard there was the charger now starting to charge. Um, while it's charging, you can see all of the information about it right here. You can see the different voltage levels. You can see everything here. So while it's charging, you know, this is this is cool. You have a little bit better of an ability to look in and see what's going on. You can check in on either one of the two channels that it's operating. And you can even from the Bluetooth you can even hit stop and tell it to stop charging. That's pretty sweet, if I'm honest. But I don't know how much I'd ever really use this. I don't know how much of that is really value added. This has a whole nother feature here, this scan to go that you see down here at the bottom. When you click it, you can select what channel. And then in theory, what you could have done is put a barcode on the battery. It scans the barcode. It knows exactly what battery it is. And it goes ahead and starts charging it exactly for what it needs, which is really, really cool except that when you go to actually make the barcode like on the website it just literally just doesn't work um, I tried multiple times and I don't know if it's just like it's older now or what it is but sounds like a really cool feature could not get it to work but at the end of the day I kind of think this is more gimmick than actual real feature the main charger that I use at my house doesn't have this and I've never missed it so although it's cool I don't know if it's something that's really necessary. And then there comes the value of this charger. So high tech is a brand that's been around for a while. Should be good quality electronics that you can really rely on, which is great. But what I see here is this charger is currently listed at $130 as I look at it on the A-Main website. And the truth is for a dual port charger that claims 100 watts, only could put out six amps into that one battery that I had, you can get a charger that's on par, potentially even better for a fraction of the price. As an example, I have recommended to many people used and enjoyed this HTRC C240 charger. You can get it for like 80 or $90, which means you're saving enough money to buy a battery or two. And it actually does all the same stuff that this charger does, except for the Bluetooth control. So unless that Bluetooth control is really, really important for you, you can use the C240 instead. Save yourself some money. I'll leave a link to it, plus this high tech down in the video description. If you have any other questions or concerns or anything about like what I've shown you here today, leave them down in the comments. And I'll be happy to respond to them. Thank you and goodbye.